Several adjectives have been applied to Uganda's strongman ruler, Idi Amin. Few of them complimentary. But now he appears to be trying to add the word nice. Randy Daniels reports. For seven years, President Amin has ruled Uganda. It has been a turbulent, unpredictable reign. But suddenly the Ugandan leader has changed, or at least he says he has. Though Amin continues to denounce Zionism and imperialism, at this year's celebration of his rise to power in a bloodless military coup, Amin sought to change his image. He has pledged a new openness, lifting a ban on foreign newspapers and inviting foreign journalists to move to Kampala to see Uganda close up. The Ugandan president says the technicians from 70 foreign countries now living in Uganda are proof that the country is safe and at peace. Yet international tales of terror concerning life in Uganda continue to haunt the Amin regime, despite persistent denials. I think if it has been something bad, critical of me, my people will not be happy as now. You understand? You understand what I say? But uh, I think whatever any international community, especially the Western press, giving bad image and the picture of Uganda, that is a completely nonsense. Uganda is very peaceful, and Uganda does not violate any human right. Amin's sudden desire to be friends with the rest of the world is steeped in a yearning for acceptance and a need to legitimize his rule. His change in rhetoric, his peace overtures to Britain and the United States suggest the dawning of an era of domestic tranquility here, or perhaps it's just a lull before the next political storm. Randy Daniels, CBS News, Koboko, Uganda.